Hello, I'm Pinky Struther. And I'm Strody Struther Davis. Of Pinkstro Galleries. I'm a graduate from Bowie State University and I'm a, also a graduate from Maryland Institute College of Art. I am a graduate from Morgan State University. While at Morgan, I was the president of the Arts, um, Arts Association for the last two years. And um, as long as I can remember, I took art courses from as a young little child and I ended up going and majoring in art at Morgan State University. It was such a joy watching my mother be so meticulous about arranging the table for dinner for special uh, occasions. She would always match this color with that color. Growing up in the arts is something that I did as a child. Consequently, I passed it on to my family. Um, art had to speak for me as an individual, and I enjoyed telling stories with my art, and it looked like very Ill illustrative kinds of art, but um, I would say that I created most of my art from sheer memory, images of memory growing up as a child because my childhood was such, such a joy and most things I remember were beautiful things. My, the, my art is very different from my mother's, whereas I've tried and changed my style. I started off with um, pencil and charcoal, then I moved on to watercolor and acrylic. I still favor acrylic a lot. Pen and ink is another one. Um, I like lines, um, symbolism. I got into symbolism and started incorporating that into my art. My art would be considered, I guess, to be abstract as well as whimsical. Um, it's suggestive. It depends on the year, my mood. I use mixed media. I make jewelry. I paint on glass and bottles. So I, cre I have a vast creations of different things depending on what's going on at that time and place. Um, I do a lot of commission pieces for other people, so that theme and style would have to change to their liking. Um, but overall, I appreciate everything that my mom uh, does with her art, and it inspires me in a lot of the pieces that I do as well. We actually, I bounce off of Stroy's energy. <laughs> And I bounce off of my mom's energy. So, so that's why we enjoy showing together. I love to make people feel good. I don't like any kind of negativity or have ill will feelings when you look at my art. I do like thought provoke, provoking art, you know, to, it to tell a story or you to ask me more about, well, what does this mean? And that's how I got into my symbolism because I like to be a trendsetter instead of utilizing something that's already been presented, being creative enough to create my own and say, hey, this is mine. Stray has done such inciting, exciting things with line that I've incorporated lines in my work. Although I really got involved with doing dioramas. Uh, years ago, I missed home. And because I missed home, I created a model of the house I grew up in. And it just made me feel so good that before I knew it, I had created the whole community. <laughs> and uh, from creating, the, you can't create the building without the people. And so I started modeling clay figurines of the people that live there also. And that has really expanded 
and branched out to other things. We moved here to North Carolina and now I've made dioramas of situations here in North Carolina. Well, the process for me in creating has been the energy that I feel always starts first. My process is a little different. Uh, some of my best pieces I probably just did on the whim and it, the feeling came out and I stacked on top of it and it grew and grew and then it, it came up with the ending result. Whereas, um, you know, experiences, visualization, I might see something or experience something that I want to create or I'm watching a TV show and someone has on this fabulous you know, colors, and I'm like, I'm gonna make a necklace to go with that theme, or, um, so how I come up with my themes of in creating, it depends, it's situational for me. Thank you for coming into our gallery today and listening to our talk. Please come again. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.